Hey everyone, I just wanted to make you aware that I have a new color balance plugin. Let's have a look. My new color balance plugin is structured a bit differently. So you have your print to light, and we will get to this in just a second. Then you have your red channel, your green channel, and your blue channel. Last but not least, you can also clamp your color values. Let's go through everything bit by bit. For each channel, you have gain, gamma, and lift. In plain terms, these are your highlights, midtones, and shadows. So let's have a look at this test image where we can see each channel very clearly. And now in the red channel, let's increase the gain. And you can see that we shift the white point of this channel up. If we decrease the gain, you can see that we shift the white point of this channel down. Let's reset this. With gamma, we control the midtones. And you can see the resulting function is just an ordinary gamma adjustment or a midtones adjustment that you would find in your color wheels in Final Cut Pro. And last but not least, we have a lift control which controls the black point of the channel. So if I increase the black point, you can see the black point shifts up of this channel. And if I decrease the black point, you can see it shifts down. While we're down here, you can now see that zero is here and the channel clips at negative seven. Okay, if we don't want to go beyond the bounds of what is allowed for Rec. 709, then you could also select this checkbox here, which says clamp color values. If I enable this, you can see that everything is being limited to zero and 100. Analogous to this, if I increase the gain, you can see that we go beyond 100 here to 115. And this doesn't make any sense because we want to stay in the bounds of what is allowed in Rec. 709. If I enable then clamp color values, you can see everything gets cut off at 100 and 0. Now, in the beginning of this video, I talked about the printer lights, and printer lights is something that, in case you watch any DaVinci Resolve tutorials on color grading techniques, then people sometimes refer to the printer lights, and printer lights are essentially an offset control, but a little bit different, and I will show you this in a second. But Final Cut Pro didn't have any controls for printer lights, but with this plugin, we now have printer lights. So let's have a look. With the printer lights, we can offset an entire channel. If I increase the printer lights for red, you can see that the entire channel shifts up. If I decrease the printer lights for red, you can see that the entire channel shifts down. Basically, as I just said, this is an offset control. Now, if all these controls are so similar to the color wheels, what exactly is the difference? If I add an instance of color wheels and we do the exact same thing, you can see if I go into my global wheel and shift the channels around, the channels are being offset entirely as well. But here's the thing, even though if I go into this box here and, for example, only want to affect the red channel, you can now see that the green and the blue channel shift as well. This is happening because the color wheels perform a luminance preserving operation. This means no matter on which channel you work, the color wheels try to compensate for the change in brightness in your scene by adjusting the other two channels as well. So with the color wheels, you can of course control your offset, your lift, your gamma and your gain, or in other terms, your global, your shadows, your midtones and your highlights, but you cannot work on one specific channel because the color wheels will always try to compensate your adjustments with two other channels. So if I increase the red channel with the color wheels, you can see that the green and the blue channel get shifted down in order to preserve the overall luminance. If we go back out here and disable this and we do the same thing with printer lights, you can see that if I decrease the red channel, everything else stays in place. And this is exactly what this plugin is used for. If you want to work very surgically on one channel or you want to be very precise with your color balance adjustments, then this plugin is the right choice compared to the color wheels. However, let's go back to the color wheels one last time. So I reset this adjustment here and we go into the color wheels. If you don't like to work with the wheels here, you can also work with these numeric values. So if you only want to have more precise control with your color wheels, there's no need to buy my plugin. You can go into these boxes down here and there you can see you have numeric values for red, green and blue. And you have this for your offset, for your lift, for your gamma and for your gain or for your global shadows, midtones and highlights. For each channel, there is a control for red, green and blue. This is especially handy if you don't have a control surface like, like this one, where you can change the color wheels very physically and you need to do this with your mouse. Adjusting the color wheels with your mouse is always a bit tedious and yeah, if you want to be more precise, then there are these numeric values at your disposal. So just go into these boxes here and then you can offset your color wheels with numeric values. But just keep in mind that 
whatever you do with one channel will be compensated with the other two channels. Let's now have a look at an actual real world example. Here you can see I only have a look. This look is a LUT of mine and we will talk about these LUTs in the future. Next up I also have an exposure and contrast adjustment here because the scene was feeling a bit too dark for my taste. In Final Cut Pro remember the input is at the top and the output is at the bottom so the signal in the inspector flows from top to bottom. This now means that our exposure and contrast adjustment gets processed first and that our look gets processed last. And with the color balance plugin, you want to make sure that you put it before your look or before your LUT, because this will give you the best results. Let's get rid of my drawings and have a look at this scene. So if we have a look at the RGB parade waveform here, you can see that we do need to work a bit on the blue channel. I mean, the green channel needs some work as well, but also the entire scene is illuminated by this very strong purple light here, Purple is the complementary color of green and therefore the green channel being lower than the other channels just makes perfect sense. So there is no need to work on that. But my eye is drawn especially to these areas here. These black areas here and here and also in the background here. These are a bit too polluted for my taste. And also I do think the skin tones could look more realistic in this scene. I think for this scene the only thing we need to mess around with is the blue channel. Since I don't want to affect the other channels, I choose the color balance plugin over the color wheels and now let's make some adjustments. So I think there's way too much blue in the shadows so I will drag down the lift of the blue channel, something like this. And now of course the entire image gets very warm and we need to compensate for this by doing the opposite in the highlights areas or with my gain control. And let's see, I think something like this. By the way, this is not very scientific, I just want to show you the plugin in action. And you can see that I think somewhere around here should give us a pretty decent result. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this before, this is after. The entire scene feels a bit more balanced now and the skin tones pop out a bit more. But I do think it's a bit too warm overall. So let's see if we can increase the gain of the blue channel just a bit more. Or actually, let's do the opposite. Let's increase the lift back just a touch, something like this. Let's have a look. So this before, this is after, this before, this is after. And I think this does an amazing job. Pay attention to this area here of the skin of this gentleman. I think this makes a huge difference. So this is before, this is after. This is before, this is after. Yeah, I think for the sake of this demonstration, this works out. The link for this plugin is in the video description. See you on my website. Bye.